Hi, and welcome to the tutorial for Domino's Pizza. So basically, I thought I'll make a movie to show you guys what you need to do. Anyways, first thing in Access, this is Access 2007. Okay, I've made my three tables. So I've got the delivery table, invoicing table, and inventory table. Now, if you want to look at my um, design view, I'll show you in here. Okay, so now when I look at the actual design view, okay, you can see how I have changed the data type and I also have a description. Uh, you'll need to do this for your assignment. But basically, look at my input mask for currency. It's going to have a dollar sign, then it's going to have two digits, dot, two digits. Okay, my inventory ID, you don't always need to put auto number here. All right, I put three um, letters, characters, then dot. And then two digits okay so when you go to you know that table okay you can see that there it is there and so if I was to add a new field okay all I need to type is you know 003 in and the INV will automatically come up this one because it's a date okay it will automatically come up there okay all I need to do is type you know again and one and that will do that okay so on the delivery table okay again I've put an input mask here okay so the I've got on postcode I've got input mask of four right and I've restricted the field size to four for the phone number I have an input mask there and restricted the field size okay again delivery ID I only have that many characters so that's the field size that I need for address and stuff like that I suppose you know you could restrict it a bit more okay 255 characters is quite a lot you know maybe something like 60 would be better but that's up to you okay um, also one other thing I want to show you back on the inventory table okay is when I when it comes to product name all right I've got my drop down box Okay, and basically that's made in in here. Okay, so you need to change the list box, value list, and then you know put whatever your options are. Okay, so anyways, so that's your table, or your that's your, that's your three tables. Okay, then you need to come and you need to create your relationships. Now your relationships. Right, they should have this checked in false referential integrity. That will mean that every record from here will match every record from there. And if it doesn't, all right, it won't allow you to actually do that. You can see that the relationship type is one to many, okay, and you can notice that from these little things, okay. So the infinity sign and the one, all right, one to many. Now I'm linking delivery ID to delivery ID, and I'm also linking inventory ID to inventory ID. This table here is our joining table or our linking table and it will join both those two tables together. Okay? So anyways, when you have to draw this, okay, when you're asked in HSC to draw this, okay, this is what you need to do. Alright? So basically, you will need to draw this out on pen, paper, whatever you need. Okay? Your primary keys are the major keys or the unique keys of each table okay it's easy when you look at it on access because they have the key next to it okay the foreign keys are the keys of you know the primary keys but in another table so here we have the invoicing table and as you can see that inventory ID and delivery ID are primary keys of other tables so all you need to do is write down there that they're foreign keys Okay, so that part should be fine. Okay, if you need more work on, you know, stuff on your database, you'll need to go back and you'll need to, you know, check out all the other database stuff that we've done. Okay, so going back to the question. Okay, so we've done the database, we've done the schema, and now we're going to do the data dictionary. Because I have three tables, okay, this is exactly what my data dictionary will look like. All right, have my invoice table, delivery table, and inventory table. If you ever get asked to draw this for your HSC, you'll need to draw exactly this. For your assignment, you'll need to do this, and you need to make sure that you are restricting the sizes. 
as you can see my fields here okay so all the fields okay there's no spaces in the fields all right I separate every word with a, a new capital letter for example phone and then number okay now as you can see I have my data format so I've done my you know three little characters and then three digits okay and I've also given an example if you forget to do one of these sections all right it's not going to look good on your HSC so anyways that is the three different tables for your data dictionary okay shouldn't be that hard all right you just need to draw them out now the last part the last part is to create a Gantt chart using Gantt project software okay so basically I have the Gantt project software here and it's very simple all you need to do is you need to just you know right click here and click new task alright so when you do the task okay all you need to do then is you need to set the date and how long the actual date went for. So I'll say that this date started 3rd of the 5th of 11th, okay? And then it ends on the you know, 8th of the 3rd. So if I want to keep going, all right, and I can say, you know, Okay, so I'll start that at the first. Okay, and as you can see, my chart is increasing. Now, if you don't like to use this software, you don't have to, okay, but all I'm doing is showing you some free software that can create nice Gantt charts. All right, so when you finish your Gantt chart, okay, and by the way, every little step that you do should be in a sequence like this okay it, it all shouldn't you know happen on one day it should all flow after each other okay so anyway so once you're finished okay you can just export all right um all right so i'll, I'll export it to my desktop okay so basically that's my project okay and here is the gantt chart so everything here that you have to do, they're just your, you know, the, the steps that, you know, you do in your project. So obviously, you know, this was very specific to the little, you know, dominoes thing that I've given you. But really what you should have is the five phases of, you know, the system development cycle. All right. So I'm did, and then you just talk about what you are doing at every phase. Okay. So thanks for listening. And see you in class.